Hello, my name is Sergio Hernandez and I'll be talking about the database subsystem. So I'll be breaking down this section into five different parts. The first part would be components. The second part would be the justification of said component. The third part would be describing the interfaces to other subsystems. The fourth part would be identifying challenges in the subsystem implementation. And the last part would be indicating what has been implemented for our early prototype. So the first aspect to this would be the components. The database subsystem will consist of PHP and it will be written in primarily PHP. We will be using an Amazon Web Service Light Cell as well as a MySQL database server. So this will act as sort of, the, of a lifeblood to the network, right? And not only this, we're going to be using a database visual interface. And this will be in the form of PHP my admin. We're going to be attempting to administer the MySQL database servers through this visual interface. Not only this, but we have the middleware. And this will come in the form of FileZilla, which will act as a FTP cross platform solution so that we'll be able to share files amongst each other. Not only this, but we will be using an API. And this comes in the form of PHP's MySQL I extension. Now that I described the components, I'll be attempting to justify the selection of said components. So why PHP? Well, PHP is platform independent. It's important to most web browsers while being fast and secure. AWS Light Cell is used as a virtual machine that works as a web server. The MySQL database server provides great support in PHP MySQL web development. PHP MyAdmin serves as a visual interface to look and manage that data. FileZilla serves as a way to upload and download files from a web hosting server. And for the API, the MySQL I extension provides a secure way of sending data and protection from SQL injection to prepare statements. As far as the interfaces to other subsystems go, the database slash backend subsystem will communicate to the front end by fetching and storing the data fields entered through the website. The database establishes a connection to the server and stores data sent to it. The database establishes another connection to the server and sends data to the front end web interface. An example of this can be seen through the search bar function. Data will need to be sent to the front end and presented. Here are some challenges in the subsystem implementation. One challenge is in the way in data needs to be found through the user. So in order for the user to find data, or in this case, a post they want to find, the creation of an algorithm needs to be taken place in order for them to find a specific post. The algorithm needs to be able to parse through data and keywords that the user inputted to the search bar in order to find the post they're looking for. Another challenge could be the data integrity and more so keeping said data intact and protected, which goes into the next challenge, threat modeling. Right, the idea being on uh, the minimization to the threats that could exploit vulnerabilities within our website. So this could come in the form of SQL injection, authentication flaws, privilege escalation, and these are just scratching the surface.
So here's some implementations with our earlier prototype. We'll, be, we'll need to be able to improve indexing strategies. Also employing safety precautions necessary found through the threat modeling. Mm, scalability also plays an enormous factor when moving forward with the scope of the website itself. We need to be fine tuning queries too. And it'd be really important to be able to defragment data.